Last week in the Detect Cool episode, I kind of broke one of my cardinal rules. And that is, if you're going to bring up a problem, at least put a direction for where the solution could lie. And yeah, we poked fun at the guys wearing ECU and all that, but I didn't really go with any kind of solution. So this week we're going to try to rectify that with this particular episode. So, a couple things real fast. Uh, if you're here for jokes, this is going to be more of a, um, a lecture, if you will. So, if you're here for funny stuff, see you next time. Uh, TLDR, links down there. That's all cool. But if you are here for some information, that's what I'm going to provide. It's going to be kind of a long video. I apologize for that now, but it's a lot of stuff to cover. So we're going to do it all in one shot. Uh, second thing, at best, I could be considered a, an, an enthusiastic amateur. So everything I'm telling you is consolidated from several sources, including military websites, a lot of anecdotal evidence. Uh, take this as just some idiot on the internet talking on YouTube. Do research yourself, find out this information for yourself, look it up so you know what's going on here, so it's not just, oh, well, I heard this. No, you can actually say, no, I read this from the military handbooks. All right, so let's talk about the ACU uniform, because I was talking about this the last time. Uh, some people say that you can't wear it, some people say you can, some people find it disrespectful, some people find it very respectful. It kind of goes all over the place. But let's talk about U.S. law. And I want to emphasize, I'm talking about United States law when I'm talking about this. Your country's law may differ, and probably do, but they're probably something along the same lines. I'm willing to bet that. Uh, we're going to first talk about uh, AR-670-1, an Army regulation. Uh, if you read it for yourself, and I highly recommend that you do, uh, you'll find that basically it says, don't dress up like us and don't pretend to be us unless you are us. Fairly, fairly cut and dry. Basically, it's the military saying we don't want people pretending to be Army. Now, I will tell you this, that um, wearing this and going someplace, uh, I had to wear this for um, a different occasion, and people treat you differently. And a lot of people really enjoy that, so they're like, hey, I'll dress up like this all the time. And no, it's not cool. Just don't do that. Um... Even wearing the ACU pullover and such that I have, people think that you're still Army, and I tell them, no, don't, don't do this. That's not, that's not cool. But that's another story entirely. Uh, so um, the U.S. law, the U.S. law also says in AR-670, uh, if you read down it, it basically says you're not allowed to wear headgear with insignia, badges and tabs, and those are the rockers up here that I was talking about, uh, uniform buttons, and these are things like service buttons, earn things that you can wear in your dress uniforms. Uh, decorations, service medals, and ribbons, and these are the patches that you see sewn up here over the uh, U.S. Army thing. And also insignia of any kind or color that the Army has adopted. So that essentially means you uh, patches for like Big Red One or infantry or any any of those. Those are the same. Anyway, um, so that's what you're not allowed to wear. You still have a lot of leeway. So um, let's kind of talk about that. Uh, first of all, uh, from here on out, I'm going to be mentioning products and websites. Do not take those as endorsements of those websites. These are just places that I have found over time, and I'm sharing it with you guys so that you can have a direction of where to go. So keep that in mind as I'm talking. That This isn't like, oh, Tiger said this is the best spot. No, it's just a spot that I found. All right. So actually, first things first, let's talk about the uniform itself. If you can help it, I wouldn't even wear it, honestly. Um, unless you're going for a very specific look. You can do better than this for paintball, and for that matter, for even airsoft. Uh, there's lots of jersey manufacturers who make ACU jerseys. There are a lot of um, paintball-specific manufacturers who make pants that are more durable for what we do, um, that are built more for what we do, that have ACU pattern in them. So if you want to achieve the look, you can still do that. But I also understand that this uniform is very distinct, so a lot of people are going to want to go with it. So if you have to go with the uniform, let's talk about how to do it right. Uh, because it is legal to wear this. It's legal to wear this. It's all the stuff you put on it that starts getting problematic. So let's start talking about uh, some of this stuff here. And I'm going to be relying heavily on my notes because I don't want to mess this up. Okay, so let's first let's talk about the flag. Uh, you are allowed to wear the flag on your uniform. You can do that. Uh, there's no law against that. But I'm going to say this again. Uh, you want to do it right. Yes, I got all the patches in here because I'm just I'm gonna be adding these as I go along. Now I pointed this out on the last video, but there are two ways that you can get flags. Uh, you get one that is uh, the way we traditionally see it, and one that is reversed. The color one is obviously reversed. Now the reason that is is that the American flag is asymmetrical. It's not the same on both sides, and you want to fly the flag so that the stars are facing forward. Now. The reason explained to me was that if you've got the stars facing backwards, that means the flag is flying in reverse, which means that you're retreating, which means that you're a wuss. 
go with it. So if you're going to wear the flag correct, you need to wear it, you need to wear it reversed on the right sleeve. So that's what we're going to do right here. I know it's not going to be 100% even, but it will work. So that's the proper way to do it. This is not the proper way to do it with the camo, the, the camo flag facing the wrong way. This is the proper way. Now if you still want to do a regular flag, you can put on the left sleeve. There's no requirement saying that you have to, but this is uh, army rag, just like that. So that's what the flag. Now where to get these flags? A lot of places uh, have these uh, have these type of flags. Um, just about anybody that sells patches will have American flags in both regular and reverse, and they'll have them in several camo patterns. Um, Millspec Monkey. They actually make a PVC version of this, which has a lot more pop to it. It's uh, it's going to last a lot longer, but it's not regulation. So I'm just throwing that out there. But you're going to find the sewn flags like this just about everywhere. And when I say everywhere. When you start looking for some of the patches that I'm talking about, you're going to just see these uh, in the catalogs. Uh, let's talk about name tapes. Now, what is and is not allowed? You are not allowed to have U.S. Army, U.S. Marines, or similar on your uh, on your name tape on this side. That is against the regulation. However, if you want to put U.S. America, if you have a field that you want to talk to, that you want to hype up, you put that here. Uh, if you have, uh, like, you're from I don't know uh, Wisconsin. But Wisconsin over here, that's fine. As long as you're not representing yourself as a member of the armed forces, you're fine. You can get away with that. Now, um, as far as what is regulation, actually I should point this out too because I can get away with this, which was given to me by a friend of mine actually. So you can get away with that. Uh, the left side is where you're supposed to put the US tape, and I know this one is OD and I'm using this here, but this is the one I've got. And the right hand side is where you put your name. And again, uh, it comes down to, well, where do you get these things? Again, there's a lot of places out there. If you just look Army name tape, you'll find literally dozens and dozens of places that do it. Um, they average from about $3 to $5 per tape. I would highly recommend at least getting two. Um, one of the main reasons for that is if you're going to be using a real patrol cap, you can put the tape on the back of that. And also because these things get lost. <laughs> it happens. So you want to have a couple spares if you can. A lot of places even have deals. If you buy three, you get them for a discounted price. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, you can also get different fonts. You can get uh, different colors. So shop around. Now, I know that uh, Valken, I've, I've made fun of Valken in the past, but one of the things I do like is that they have the name tape on the sleeve that you can do this with as well. Um, as far as I know, there is no regulation in the military for that specific kind of thing. So just go with what's comfortable. I would put, uh, personally, personally, I would put the name tape on this side and I would put the, um, the, uh, this tape on this side. But there's, as far as I've seen, there's no regulation for that. There probably is, but I have not seen it. Uh, so feel free to do your own research on that. Um, so that's as far as that goes. So, okay, let's talk about rank. Because on an ACU uniform, you would put rank on this patch of Velcro right here. Yeah, you can see it on camera. Um, don't do it. Don't even touch it. Don't don't even go there. Um, the reason is is that there, if you do rank, it is just a bad idea, very bad idea. Stay steer clear, absolutely steer clear from it. So, let's say you want to do something there anyway. Well, um, I'm gonna step over here. I have been made aware of these civilian type patches that fit on here but I am not entirely 100% certain if that is allowable or not, but they keep on saying it's a civilian patch. I would, start, I would honestly steer clear of that because to me, that just screams danger. Now, one other website that I did find, and I hope that I got this one right, it's either, I think it's OLM or OML, I'll have links down in the descriptions or I'll just put it, I'll put it on screen, what the heck. Um, they make a custom patch that fits right on here so that uh, you can cover this up and they do graphics and uh, logos, uh, a couple of very small four letter words. Make up your own joke, I know you want to. Now there are some other solutions. Yes, I've got lots of these things in my pocket over here. Uh, the first solution, one that I found long ago, it's this right over here. Uh, Special Ops Paintball made a whole bunch of these way back when, and this is not military style rank, this is actually stylized. That would fit right on here nicely, but I don't feel 100% comfortable with that myself. And if there's something that just doesn't feel right, I honestly would not go with it. Um, if there's something in the back of your head screaming, you know, nagging at you, that this isn't, gonna, this doesn't feel right, don't do it. Best solution. The other one that you can do, um, and this is kind of easy to do, they have morale tabs. 
Uh, the morale tabs are about um, an inch by, by half an inch. And you can get these all over the place. Uh, if you look up fun meters, morale patches, you will find a whole bunch of places that do these. There are places that custom make these as well. I'm going to get to that when I get to the custom patches. So uh, hang loose for that. And you can put that right over here and just let everybody know how you think. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the one I got. Well, I got several of them, but this is the one that... Uh, I think that one was the one we published in APG, which I found hilarious. All right, so let's talk about, um, let's keep on going here. Stay away from rank is what I'm getting at. Um, I know it's really cool to have rank on your stuff. It's not allowed. And uh, how big of a problem it becomes really depends on how far the stick is up the guy's butt who's really uh, going after you for it. Some people are gonna be like, yeah, big deal. And some people are gonna make a big case out of it. So just stay away from it. Safest bet, safest way to go. The other alternative, kind of before I move on, I should mention this, the other alternative is go sci-fi. In doing research for this show, I found a couple of places that were doing um, mil uh, military style uh, rank things from, uh, they, they were uh, taking graphics from Halo, they were taking graphics from Star Trek, and I don't believe I'm actually seriously suggesting this, but you can go that route and uh, start searching for those. You might be able to find something that would fit on here. So if that's the kind of thing you like, that's cool. Let's talk about rocker and skill patches. Um, These are the ones that go up here over the uh, over your main patch. Now if you're gonna do those, don't do it in military. Um, I, the story I told is actually true. The, the dude was just, you know red-faced, vein bulging, angry that I had that on my JT jersey. You know, um, There are ways around it. Like I was mentioning in the other show, the die rocker tabs, those things are, are available. Uh, so contact die for those. Um, Millspec Monkey they actually the the uh, the Molan uh, one that I had that I showed you guys the last time. Uh, there are a couple of other places as well that do that. If you go on eBay, um, you can find a whole bunch of joke rocker tabs. That uh, if you get close, you'll see it. Uh, Jedi, ninja, pirate, and one that really tends to torque people off. So I mean, if that's your thing, you know, go for it. But uh, I'm just gonna kind of do that now. Camo Tech. Uh, Camo Tech is a small company that I, I'm assuming they're still in business. Uh, their website really hasn't been that far updated, but um, contact them first. They do custom rockers. So if you want something that says your hometown name, you want something that says whatever uh, in a specific kind of camo pattern, talk to them. They've got fairly reasonable prices too. And matter of fact, um, they have probably the cheapest prices on the name tapes. I'm just saying, you know, again, not an endorsement, but that's the cheapest that I found. So we're going to put the rocker up here for that. You can get a whole bunch of these things all over the place. Um, so just search around. Uh, let's see here. Now unit patches. Uh, again, stay away from military patches. This includes all the stuff that I mentioned before. I know military patches look cool. I know if you, if you some people are like, hey, I want to associate myself with that. Just don't do it. Highly recommend that you don't do it. There are a lot of other options for you to do without having to go that route. So, uh, having that said, now there, there's one exception, maybe, eh, um, that is if you are actively with that unit or have been with that unit. But if you have not, don't even just don't go, don't go there. Just don't do it. So, what patches can you get? Well, a lot actually. You'd be surprised. Um, Let's see, let's, I'll start with the one that, uh, that you guys saw the last time, right here. Uh, I actually picked this one up off of eBay. Uh, Airsofters, um, a whole bunch of paintball teams will make patches like this, or commission patches like this, but you have to get them in such a huge run that they'll just sell, they'll sell off the rest. So you can go that route and uh, check eBay, you'll get some pretty decent deals on that. And most of the time you're gonna be dealing with just people who are like yourself, or just uh, airsofters, paintball players who want to do that. You can also find uh, military-ish type patches like this one. Uh, this one I got from Tad Gear. Um, I'll put links all over the place. And that's the one I'm actually going to rock up here for right now. Um, Tad Gear has a whole bunch of patches that look the type but are not. Uh, you can go with OLM, OLM or OML. I'll links down there. Uh, go with them. They do a whole bunch of custom patches. Uh, Millspec Monkey who I've talked about before. They do a lot of good patches as well. They do a lot of PVC patches. Um, their pinup patches, awesome. Just want to say that. Uh, OP Tactical, or you can eBay, like I said. The other one, and you're gonna laugh at this one, Sci-Fi Geeks. 
Sci-Fi Geeks has patches from uh, all sorts of stuff, like video games and uh, science fiction series and television shows. Yeah, I had to put that in there. Check them out. Um, the only downside is that they're not going to have Velcro on them. You're going to have to add it yourself. And you can do this. Um, I will show you how with this patch right over here. Uh, this patch is an A5 owner's group patch from quite some time ago. Uh, did not have Velcro on it, so I added it. And if you're fairly decent with the sewing machine, uh, take two wide pieces of, uh, of hook, of hook side hook and loop, and uh, Velcro hook and loop. Who cares? Uh, I actually use real Velcro, uh, and you can attach it like this. Basically, I took two pieces, sew them together, and then sew that entire thing onto the backing of this. It's ugly, but it works. So that's one way that you can do that. Rock it on your uh, on your on your on your jacket. And you can also go with uh, some alternative style patches. I mentioned uh, Millspec Monkey before. This is one of the ones that you can get from Millspec Monkey. I like this one myself, um, just for the irony value of it. But they've got a whole bunch of designs you can choose from. So that's basically about it. Um, if you've got any questions, like I said, I'm pretty much an enthusiastic amateur here. Uh, so myself or somebody else who frequents here, you can put questions down there. We'll be happy to, to help you guys out. Well, point you in the right direction. Um, other than that, like I said, the best rule of thumb to go with on this is if it doesn't feel right, if you're asking yourself, is this allowable, assume that it is not. That's the safest way to go. And yes, I know you can go to the Army-Navy store and you can go pick up BDU jackets that have U.S. Army on the side. Like I said, the, the biggest... It, it, it's hard to see how, how big of a case somebody's going to make out of it because, you know, it depends on... Yeah, we're not going to tell that joke again. So... Just err to the side of caution, and you really can't go wrong on that. So thank you guys for hanging out and watching this. I know this is a really long video for uh, for this channel. So um, we'll continue with normal programming a little later on in the week. Uh, catch you guys then.